Mysticism of Lewis Carroll The Reverend Charles Ludwig Dodgson, born January the 27th, 1832, Daresbury, Cheshire, England, died January the 14th, 1898, Guildford and Surrey, was better known by the pen name Lewis Carroll. Carroll was brought up in a deeply religious family. His father was Rector of Croft in Yorkshire, Archdeacon of Richmond and a Canon of Ripon Cathedral. Carroll is best known as the author of Alice in Wonderland and Alice Through the Looking Glass. But he was also a brilliant mathematician and a greatly gifted formal logician. After attending rugby school, then Christ Church College, Oxford, where he obtained a first-class degree in mathematics and a second-class degree in classical moderations, he became a mathematics lecturer at Oxford. Carroll was expected as a condition of his residency at Christ Church, Oxford, to take holy orders within four years of obtaining his master's degree, but he didn't. He eventually took deacon's orders in 1861. When the time came a year later to progress to priestly orders, Carroll appealed for permission not to proceed an act which would normally have resulted in his being expelled from Oxford. But Dean Little permitted Carroll to remain at the college. Carroll never took full orders, and the reason is that he became a mystic, with a genius for documenting mystic symbolism in an accessible way. The Mystic Life Carol was shy and cursed with an incurable stammer, caused, it is said, by being forced to write with his right hand as a child when he was left-handed. But in the company of young children, he lost his stammer and his shyness. This is Alice, for whom his first books were written. Carroll confessed in 1858 to an undergraduate friend, Arthur Richard Girdlestone, that they, the children, are three-fourths my life. Carl Gustav Jung Loneliness does not come from having no people about one, but from being unable to communicate the things that seem important to oneself or from holding certain views which others find inadmissible. His books Carol not only wrote Alice Through the Looking Glass and Alice's Adventures in Wonderland, but also wrote The Hunting of the Snark, Jabberwocky, and Sylvie and Bruno. Each one is a carefully compiled collection of methods to obtain a spiritual experience, mystic symbols, and metaphysical concepts. For example, here we see rabbits, fans, gloves, and tunnels. I do not believe that Alice in Wonderland, for example, was told to a child as an afternoon diversion and published as it was. 
The afternoon diversion may have given him the idea for the books and an audience, but all of them were very carefully crafted to include his metaphysical theories. Carroll knew the fairy tale author George MacDonald well, and it was the enthusiastic reception of his first book by the young MacDonald children that convinced him to submit it for publication. We also know that Alice Through the Looking Glass was written without children specifically in mind and took much longer to write than Wonderland. Lewis Carroll and the Society for Psychical Research Carroll was an enthusiastic charter member all his life of the Society for Psychical Research. His library contained dozens of books on the occult and he believed in the reality, for example, of extrasensory perception and psychokinesis. In an 1852 letter, he enthuses about a pamphlet on thought reading, telepathy, published by the Society for Psychical Research. Lewis Carroll All seems to point to the existence of a natural force by which brain can act on brain. I think we are close on the day when this shall be classed among the known natural forces and its lands tabulated, and when the scientific sceptics, who always shut their eyes till the last moment to any evidence that seems to point beyond materialism, will have to accept it as a proven fact in nature. His position made it difficult for him to express his beliefs in anything but allegoric form. As such, we see in his books the summation of his thoughts, but in story form. See the video, Union. Lewis Carroll Words mean more than we mean to express when we use them, so a whole book ought to mean a great deal more. But he seems a tortured soul, one whose upbringing in a deeply religious setting clashed with his direct experience of the spiritual world. Occultism is hidden wisdom, the study of truth, a deeper truth than that espoused by religions. But Dodgson found his upbringing and these truths very hard to reconcile. He said, They are sceptical thoughts which seem for the moment to uproot the firmest faith. There are blasphemous thoughts which dart unbidden into the most reverent souls. There are unholy thoughts which torture with their hateful presence the fancy that would fain be pure. Against all these, some real mental work is a most helpful ally. Lewis Carroll and the Spiritual Path Alice in Wonderland is an allegorical book about the first degree of the spiritual path. See our video, The Three Degrees, Judgment. Alice Through the Looking Glass is about the third degree of the spiritual path. See our video, The Three Degrees, Purification. At the time Carol was writing, those interested in the occult believed that the spiritual plane was divided into a number of levels, some of which were below us and some above us. Heaven was symbolically above us, with the celestial hierarchy of angels and gods and its tears and rain. See the video, Rain. Whereas what lay symbolically below was the terrestrial hierarchy the realm of plants, animals, and nature spirits. So, in Alice in Wonderland, during the first degree, 
he goes down, whereas in Alice through the Looking Glass, during the third degree, he ascends, the ascension being symbolically represented by the game of chess. When Alice crosses the board as a pawn or princess, attempting to become a queen. Book content, methods, symbols and metaphysical concepts. Carol's books are a sort of compendium of the types of spiritual experiences you may get and the mechanisms that Lewis Carroll knew to obtain them. Woven in are many mystic symbols and metaphysical concepts. In Sylvie and Bruno, for example, he describes imponderal, an anti-gravity wall that can be stuffed into parcel post packages to make them weightless. See a video, Sheep and Wool. He also describes a watch that reverses time. Time, in fact, features prominently in all his books. Overall, Carroll's combined works are one of the most complete philosophical, mathematical, metaphysical and logical explanations of the occult to ever appear in print. And few people realise that is what they are, although Salvador Dali did. And Tim Burton. Some example methods. Dodgson used laudanum as a painkiller. The laudanum taken by Dodgson was only a tincture of opium and there is no evidence he was or became an addict. But he did notice that the opium has an effect. He also makes reference to the consumption of mushrooms and other tinctures from bottles. The hooker smoking caterpillar and so on. Dodgson was friends with many people in the pre-Raphaelite movement. Ruskin, Rossetti, Hunt, Millet and Hughes, among other artists. All of them knew the effects of these drugs. Many of the Wonderland experiences that Alice has are those experienced by people using shamanic techniques. The elongation of the body, the robbery feelings, growing and shrinking. Carlos Castaneda, for example, has one particularly extraordinary experience in the teachings of Don Juan, in which his legs go rubbery and he elongates. In addition to the hallucinogens, Carol knew the effect of frenetic activity, and the Caucasus race is an allegory of just that. Furthermore, Carol included both techniques that we might term accidental and those which could be made deliberate. Thus, we have the accidental mercury poisoning of the Mad Hatter, along with the deliberate use of magic mushrooms. The accidental effects of the narcoleptic dormouse, or maybe it is the deliberate effect of hypnagogia. Symbols and Concepts There is symbolism woven into both the stories of Alice in Wonderland and Alice through the Looking Glass. For example, flowers, see the video flower symbolism. Insects, see the video introduction to insects. Horses and unicorns, see the video horse symbolism. Water, rivers, oceans and floods. See the videos on rivers, streams, ocean and the flood. 
caterpillars. See the video, butterfly and caterpillar. Pigs. See the video, symbolism of the pig. Bees. See the bees, beehives and honey video. Wells, as told by the Dormouse. See the video on the well symbolism. Gardens, see the video garden symbolism. Forests and woods. See the forest and wood video. Dogs, see the video on dogs. Boats, see the video boats. Hair, see the video symbolism of the hair. Turtles, or actually mock turtles, see the video turtle. Mirrors and looking glasses, see the video mirror. There is considerable use of the tarot cards and as a consequence playing cards. See the video Introduction to the Tarot. Indeed, it appears that Carol considered himself the hanged man. If the white knight in looking glass is indeed him. Alice through the looking glass also includes numerous references to nursery rhymes. See the video Introduction to Children's Games and Nursery Rhymes. Many nursery rhyme characters are, for example, Signs of the Zodiac. See the video Introduction to the Signs of the Zodiac. The Lion, Leo, See the Lion video. The Twins, Gemini. Tweedledum and Tweedledee. Even metaphysical concepts are mentioned, but not always explained. Humpty Dumpty is the cosmic egg. See cosmic egg video. Celestial music is referenced a number of times, e.g. tinkly bells and trumpets. See the video concept of the fifth dimension. Carol has the mathematician's fascination with time. There is weaving and knitting, referencing the concept of the loom. See the video on the loom and weaving. And many more. How far on the past did Carol get? It is not possible to write with any genuine understanding of any of these unless you have been through them. And Carol documented what it feels like right up until the very last stage of the spiritual path, where consciousness would have permanently transferred to his higher spirit, at which point it would have become divine. But then he may have been divine already.